Hey everybody, Tom Tezak, and we're on Caravan today. This is the first house we're in Wailea at 357 Kualono. It's in Wailea Pualani. And uh, we're going to go check it out and see if we can get in and give you a little tour. Come on. All tile roofs, all stucco exterior. That's pretty common in Wailea. This is a pretty interesting house. It's um, the least expensive home in Wailea. There's two bedrooms down. There's just two doors going into the one bedroom. Um, so then there's a laundry room right behind you. And then as we meet back out in the hallway, we've got another a full bath right here. And then the second bedroom that uh, is pretty cool. It lands off into a lanai and a fun space. And then we come into a family room, really nice uh, private lanai here. And then we come back around up by the front door. So this basically this downstairs just makes a circle and it has rooms off of this downstairs. So once you head on upstairs and as you get upstairs, you um, got the kitchen, the family room and the living room. The stairs comes up in between all of it. So it's a nice separation. And then off to the side here, a little bit, there's a powder room and then a big wrap around lanai, which is really cool. If you come out, the, you can get to the lanai there. And again, it's a caravan. This is Don, he's the listing agent. And Lorraine, a local loan officer. But you can see the lanai just wraps all the way around, which is really cool. And then you've got a nice little ocean view. So when the whales are here, you'll definitely be able to see some whale action right off of your lanai. From there, we come out of the living room. You're into the master suite. We're at the next listing, we're at Keala Owailea, and we're gonna to go to the five building. And this is a property that I was the listing broker on when it was developed and sold. And so I know this property incredibly well, and I absolutely love it. The views here are spectacular. I wanted to start with you at the pool and show you that this pool has a great view. There's a clubhouse and a fitness center. And from here, we're gonna go up to the unit. We're gonna walk around the unit a little bit, and then we'll take a look for, at the view from outside. Now, this agent might not let us in, but we'll check it out and hopefully we'll get you in. But this is Keala OYLA unit number 5103. It's a ground floor, two bedroom unit, and uh, it's just a really nice spot. We're standing right in front of the, the five building. You can see it's really private right over there. But look at this view. You've got golf course, you've got golf course water, you've got the ocean, just a huge ocean from um, the end of Kahalabe all the way over to Waialuku to the right. This view is without exaggeration spectacular oh this unit is a two bedroom 1250 square foot unit kalo wailea you saw the sweeping view that it had from the front of the building we aren't able to get in right now if you want more information let us know it does not allow vacation rentals this is a long-term or residential property only so a minimum of six months if you wanted to rent but it's really spectacular probably one of my favorite listings on the market today so guys we love your feedback so we've been doing these videos now for a couple months and we really want to know do you want a long detail walkthrough because our videos tend to be pretty long when we do that or would you just like us to show you the highlights the houses we like the most and then just give an overview on some of the ones that are maybe not as exciting so comment in the section below let us know what you think of this video let us know how you like it which way you would prefer us to do it because quite honestly we create these for those of you that are watching. So this unit, we're gonna take a walk through real quick. It's a Keonakai Villages. It backs up to South Kihei Road, but it's a great location in the complex, super close access to the Kamaoli Beach Park 3, uh, two bedroom, two bath, and uh, $710,000. We're off to the next one. Hey everybody, we're at Walaka Maui. Uh, it is a one bedroom, two bath, and it's priced at $759,000. It's at the top of Walaka Street. Let's go check it out. There is an elevator, but we're gonna take the stairs because, well, I need the exercise. Really cute unit. Landscapers are going on right now, so if you hear that, sorry about that. Shaker style cabinets, granite countertops. This fun little safe space saver um, bench right there, or seat. And then when you come out on the lanai, you can see we've got an ocean view and lots of activity. They're building a new hotel right there. That's what you see the crane for. 
um, and, a, and a nice space. This looks like it's probably a Murphy bed right here, which is a pretty cool cabinet. And there's the Murphy bed. So if you had guests, you can pull this, pull this couch out, pull the Murphy bed down and uh, let somebody in. And then back here, we've got the bedroom, king size bed, and then a full bath right over on that side as well. And this is a, again, a one bedroom. This is a non-vacation rentable property. And it's uh, so six months or more if you wanted to reuse it for a rental, or you can live in it full time or use it as a second home. Great location right in South Kihei. Walk right to Charlie Young Beach from here. And again, the price is $759,000. Let's go to the next one. So we're at 798 Mehilani Street. This was a late addition, so I don't have any information on it. Uh, we just popped in real quick to make sure it's okay for us to uh, video. It's priced at 1,499, but there's a lot of flexibility in this house. So come on in. So it's, it's pretty neat. They have this little entry patio that you, there's a door that came in. It may have probably possibly been an outdoor lanai at some point in its history. Um, really nice vaulted ceilings. As again, we're on caravan, so there's some folks here. We're gonna take you right into this back room and it's sort of like, well, you could close these doors off and you could give a private space if you had a, you know, an older child or a parent that you wanted to give them some privacy in their own space. You could create a little ensuite here. You've got a full bathroom, enough room for a bedroom, a little seating area, and then a little mini kitchen. In this space, there's currently, there's not a stove because that would make it illegal, but to have a little wet bar area, this could be a great little entertaining space. Really quite nice. And you can see out the window that there's a big yard uh, in back. As we leave this space, we come back out into the main area where we walked in. And I, I love this little ceiling treatment. I don't know if you can get that, Michelle, but it's sort of fun little bamboo uh, tile. And then we come into the kitchen and uh, great working space room over here. If you wanted to put a little breakfast table, uh, this is for mica countertops. It looks like granite and then thermal foil cabinets. Uh, so all really nice and great amount of space in here as well. Off to this side, right where we came in, we walked right by it is the laundry room, which is downstairs, a big garage as well. It's super clean floors painted. Oh, there's some folks in here, but you can, quick take a peek in here you can see it's all clean and ready to go let's go down the hallway because we have what would be one bedroom here could be a family room and then in this hallway as you go in you'll see there's three bedrooms in this hallway and then one full bath as well it's got all laminate floor Great space, nice size bedrooms. And then from there we go upstairs to what would be a really spacious master suite. A neat little office space that it actually is open to the stairs, but you could turn that into a, uh, if you closed off the stairs, you could turn it into another closet if you wanted. Um, you can turn it, you can just go in here and see, uh, you can make it an office space, a closet by separating it. Lots of flexibility with that space right there. Really cute and reading nook. And as you come back in here, you see there's a full bath with a tub and a shower. Now, interestingly, this suite also, you could lock this off. So if you have an older child and a, and a parent, well, you got a place downstairs for the parent and an upstairs for the older child because now you've got this outside deck, some plumbing, so you could do some fun things out here. You could definitely put a grill and cooking facilities out here if you wanted. And then there's a staircase that comes down and this will give us a good chance to take a look at the backyard and see there's tons of space out here and definitely some opportunity to uh, create a really cool outdoor tropical space. So we're at 143 Keala Street, and this is sort of like up the street by where Foodland is off of South Kihei Road. And I gotta tell you what, this is a really, really cute property. Um, it's all been beautifully finished. Now it's a condominiumized lot. There were four structures on this lot, and this was chunked out in a condominium. 
Um, and so this is one part, and it's priced, this is a two bedroom main house, which is drop dead gorgeous, um, about 750 square feet or so. The price on the property is $899,000. Let's go back, let's start in the back here in what you would look at as a one car garage, but it is way, way more than a one car garage. It's got the epoxy floors on it, it's got a washer and dryer, it's got a sink, a little cooktop, it's actually got a toilet in it, which is pretty crazy. And, and then outside, there's an outdoor shower as well. So I'm not saying that this could become a living space, but goodness gracious, it could be somewhere if you've got an older child or something like that. Or, um, again, all of it's been really, it looks like it's been maintained or up, updated, which is quite nice. And then we're going to go into the house. Oh, excuse us. And uh, we come in and it's got a cute little dining room. This is Gail. Gail's the listing agent. Thanks, Gail. And a uh, great little family room area right here and then a place for a TV. And then as you walk down the hallway, this is all hardwood floors. These are real hardwood floors, not laminate. You, uh, you've got a bedroom there, that's the smaller bedroom, and then a full bath. And then the main bedroom. So there's only one bath in here, but it's only 700 and some square feet, but it does have AC. And then it's fun, you've got a door going out to the side a door out to the front to this great big lanai and a really ample size kitchen for what you need. This is a, just an adorable property. All right, let's go to the next one. Hey, so we're at Sugar Beach. We're all the way at the north end of Kihei and we're gonna go to a ground floor one bedroom unit, uh, unit number 125, let's go check it out. Sugar Beach, one bedroom, one bath. It's got some nice upgrades in it. It's right on the beach. I mean, you can be in 15 steps with your toes in the sand. It's just a really great spot. And uh, just a, so glad we were able to make it over here for Caravan. And this unit is priced at $1,285,000. Allows vacation rental, uh, short term, so daily rentals, no problem here. But what a great place if you just wanted to camp out and live here for like the rest of your life. Hey guys, thanks so much for joining us on our caravan show today. I hope you enjoy it again, as I mentioned earlier. Give me your comments, tell us what you liked, tell us how, what format you like our videos in so that we can just provide you with a, uh, the vision that you have and we can show you the most properties in the most efficient way. And it, by all means, if you want more information on this property or any other listings in Maui, I would love to be your guide and resource and be able to help you out.